On the walls of ancient Egyptian tombs during the reign of the 18th dynasty pharaohs, scientists noticed images of people whom the Egyptians called Keftu. These people were very similar to how the inhabitants of Crete portrayed themselves in the Late Bronze Age. At the same time, in the Bible, we know about the existence of a people called Kaftarim, and their country with the name Kafta. But is our knowledge enough to say that the mysterious Keftu are representatives of the ancient Minoan civilization from the island of Crete? Today in historical science a consensus has been reached on the interpretation of the term Kaftarim. Most researchers identify the biblical term Kaftarim with Kapta from the archives of the Syrian kingdom of Mari, and the Egyptian Keftu. The most convincing interpretation is that this term penetrated into the Egyptian language in the era of the Middle Kingdom. The fact that the Keftu people lived in Crete is supported by two arguments. The Egyptian term Keftu in the tombs of the 18th dynasty accompanies images of foreigners, who by their appearance are reliably identified by people of the Minoan culture. In the topographic list of Amenhotep III of Kom el Hetan, the section entitled Keftu, and the Danuna contains the toponyms of Crete and the Peloponnese. The Minoans are descended from the earliest Neolithic population of the island of Crete, which first appeared on a previously uninhabited island in the 7th millennium BC. Perhaps the first settlers came from Anatolia or, according to another theory, from mainland Greece. The language of the pre-Greek population of Crete, apparently, did not belong to either the Afrasian or Indo-European family of languages. The terms Kapta and Keftu were used in Egyptian and Mesopotamian sources, from the 18th to the 13th centuries BC. Later cases of use are based only on the established tradition of using this term in early texts. After the 13th century BC, not a single record, was made in which a country or people was called by this name. Attempts to use this outdated term in newly compiled texts indicate that its meaning was incomprehensible to the authors of the first millennium BC. Cretan Egyptian ties reached their highest intensity after the volcanic eruption on the island of Sandorini. This was when the Achaeans from Greece took over the dominant position in Crete. In Egyptian sources of the 15th and 14th centuries BC, they are known as Danuna. The presence of Cretan artisans in Egypt is evidenced by the Minoan murals in Tel el Daba. The idea of the Egyptian origin of the Danaeans was reflected in the ancient Greek myth about the flight of Danae and his daughters from the Nile Delta. No mention of the ancient Egyptian term Keftu has come down to us in the texts recorded earlier in the New Kingdom period. An exception is the title of the priest of Horus Kefti on the steel during the reign of Pharaoh Senusrit I. The possible cult of the god Horus of Crete in Egypt can be compared with the cult of the lady from Byblos of the goddess Hathor. There are other reasons to believe that the term Keftu arose already in the era of the Middle Kingdom. This is indicated by the mention of the Keftu people in the admonitions of Ipua. This literary work was recorded on papyrus of the 19th dynasty, but probably originated in the late Middle Kingdom at the beginning of the 17th century BC. Some researchers attribute the origin of the Book of Days to the Middle Kingdom, the oldest record of which is in the tomb of Ramses VI. The mention of the Keftu people in the Book of Days in the same place as Syria should not be considered as evidence of the location of the Keftu country in Asia. The context only points to the northern position of the Keftu from the point of view of the Egyptians, who sailed along the Mediterranean Sea along its shores. Crete was the northernmost point of the world they knew. The way there lay past the city of Byblos and Syria. Keftu is also mentioned as the most distant country in the Ipua papyrus. The Keftu beans are mentioned in the Ebers papyrus dating from the early 18th dynasty. The London Medical Papyrus contains two incantations in the language of the Keftu people. In general, most of the Egyptian documents mentioning Keftu date from the reign of Hotshepsut to the reign of Amenhotep III. In cuneiform sources, this term appears in the 18th century BC in the archives of the city of Mari. 
but the existence of the term in the so-called geography of Sargon the Ancient makes, some researchers believe that it existed already in the 3rd millennium BC. The appearance of the term Keftu and Kapta in Egyptian and cuneiform sources at the beginning of the 2nd millennium BC coincides with the beginning of the period of the old palaces in Crete, when, judging by archaeological data, a state appeared on the island for the first time. Both the Egyptians and the rulers of Mari associated a certain type of ships with the name Keftu and Kapta. In Egypt, the ships of the country of Keftu were first mentioned in the annals of Tutmos III in the description of the campaign of the 34th year of his reign. The archives of Mari mention the construction of a Cretan-type ship. Probably, they mean the multi-oared ships as in the frescoes from Akrotiri. The latest mention of Kapta in cuneiform texts is a document from the 13th century BC from Ugarit. This document mentions a ship returning from Crete. Only the description of the Empire of Sargon of Akkadian, preserved in the record of the 8th century BC, dates back to a later time. In Egypt during the 19th dynasty, the term Keftu continues to be used only in stereotyped lists of countries that reproduced old samples. After the 19th dynasty, the term Keftu was used only in the Book of the Day in the tomb of Ramses VI and in several texts from the Ptolemaic era. In the decree of Canopus of the Ptolemaic period, in a text written in hieroglyphs, the country of Keftu corresponds to Syria in a text written in Demotic script. The disappearance of the term Keftu and Kapta in the 13th century BC coincides with the decline of the palace culture of the Bronze Age in Crete in the late Minoan period 3b and the beginning of the era of the Sea Peoples. The distance from Crete to Egypt in a straight line is 350 miles. There are two possible sea routes from Crete to Egypt, along the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, bypassing Anatolia and the Levant, to Pelusium, or along the open sea to future Cyrene and further along the southern coast of the Mediterranean Sea. The intensive trade relations between Crete and Egypt, during the 18th dynasty are confirmed by archaeological finds in the Minoan port of Comos. Egyptian transport amphorae are found in layers from the late Minoan period 1 to the late Minoan period 3a1. During the 18th dynasty, the tombs of the Egyptian supreme nobles were often depicted with scenes of the bringing of gifts by foreigners. Cretans often appear among them. The earliest such image comes from the tomb of Senenmut in reign of Hatshepsut, at the latest belongs to the era of Amenhotep II. During the reign of Amenhotep III, the country of Keftu is listed among the conquered countries. Minoan wall paintings have been found in two Egyptian palaces at Tel El Daba. They date from the era of Tutmos III. Perhaps Tel El Daba should be identified with the Egyptian port of the 18th dynasty of Heronifer. The document of Tutmos III, Amenhotep II mentions Keftu ships in the port of Heronifer. In two Egyptian documents, the term Keftu is associated with the term Danuna. The annals of Tutmos III mentions the bringing to the country of the silver jug, Keftu by the leader of the Danuna. In the topographic list of Amenhotep III of Kom el Hetan, there are two figures of captives with the names Keftu and Danuna, and on the left is a list of toponyms of Crete and the Peloponnese. These two testimonies give reason to identify the Danuna with the Danian, Mycenaean Greeks, who came to power in Crete in the 15th century BC. This interpretation is confirmed by the find in Kom el Hitan and another fragment of the topographical list of Amenhotep III. This list also mentions another Greek tribe, the Ionians. Previously, the Ionians were known only from sources of a later time. Based on the foregoing, we can state the fact that today almost all researchers share the localization of the Keftu people as Cretans. However, this is not the only point of view. There are scholars who believe that the people of Keftu lived on islands in the Nile Delta or in the Levant among the city-states of ancient Canaan.